Hello friends from Catalan Pyrenees, Spain. It's Angelina and Dima from Walking Edge World. And today we are setting off our new hiking adventure. This time we are going to do a section hike of GR11 from Planoles to Puig Cerda and then climb up to Duyo village, France, crossing the Cerdan Valley. It will take us three days and 45 or 50 kilometers in total. We decided to take advantage of the nice weather that will last for several days and that may be one of the last warmer days of October. So we didn't want to miss this opportunity. We always wanted to hike this trail as we haven't been here before and we're sure it's going to be an interesting one. We think it won't have any particular difficulty so it will be very enjoyable. So we think it's enough of introduction now and let's get started with this trail. Today we are starting our trail at the level of 1200 meters and we are going to do the uphill of 8 something hundred meters so it's gonna be a little bit of a climb but we think that it will be quite gentle because it will be climbing all 15 kilometers up that we're gonna do today so we don't think it's gonna be challenging and fortunately the weather today is very beautiful it's like sunny golden autumn day and it's really pretty right now around us we see lots of bright colorful colors that are bringing up the mood I think it's gonna help us well at the very start we faced an obstacle unexpectedly which is like this little river but it is like quite fluted and the rocks are very very slippery so very dangerous to step at yeah we decided you know the best decision would be just to go barefoot and cross the river like that so we're gonna do it now <laughs> i'm gonna show it to you We are not searching for the easy ways. <laughs> so now we are finally at the GR11 only right now at the official trail. So I think we spent like 40 minutes just getting out on this path. So now hopefully it's gonna be easier. Love this countryside peaceful path a lot there is lots of oak trees which are i think at least 700 years old and because of that we see there is lots of jays flying around you know from one tree to the other and it would be so cool to film them you can hear it right now i think but they're very very cautious birds so it's not an easy task
today we are on a very interesting part of the trail which is following GR11 and we obviously started from Planolis but the GR11 actually if you go in reverse direction comes up to Nuria or comes down depends on the direction you go and Val de Nuria is the location that we actually love a lot and we've done several hikes there in the region coming from Aine Valley from the French side and then coming to the Val de Nuria Spain which was quite an epic hike make sure to check it out we just have the really bright and great memories from it it was early spring several years ago so yeah just you know got back to these memories and now we're actually the trail leading us to La Molina which is like the ski resort Spanish ski resort one of the well-known in Catalonia region and in Spanish Pyrenees La Molina is a very special place to us too because uh, this was actually the village where we discovered the mountains the beauty of the mountains how amazing the mountains regions are in general because for us it was the first time when we actually you know climbed the mountain and got to know all these different paths and trails and all the possibilities of hiking so this holds a very special place in our hearts really like these places and so it will be great to remember those moments while we're hiking this trail As we are coming higher up, the leaf forest came to end and the pine forest has started just now, still climbing up. We just had our lunch break. We're over halfway done for today. We have 7 kilometers and 300 meters uphill yet to do. The trail has been quite easy so far, following dirt car roads in the forest. And if it will continue the same way, we'll do it quite fast. Today, because we have started kind of late at 11 a.m. because of the bus that we had to take in the morning. Right now, the day is not that long anymore. It's like uh, almost the end of October. So now we have only around three hours of daylight left. So not that much. We plan to hike all the way up to the maximum uphill of this trail and then come a little bit down if it will be possible of course just to be a little bit lower and you know for the temperature it's very important so it doesn't get too low at night so yeah we'll see how it will be and we'll show you that later sun is already setting and we can feel the chilly wind coming our way we got quite cold as you can see we're already wearing our warm clothes on us hopefully the temperature not going to be too low tonight but we'll see that
We have now started to come down and this downhill will last all the way to the village Wuchserda. And this part of the trail is unique in its way because it's going right on the border cross between France and Spain. So here you can see the border stone. I don't know how it's called, but I think that it is quite an old historic one stone and we'll see a lot of them, I think, on this part of the trail. So this is quite interesting. So we think we arrived at the place. It is not a perfect spot at all. There is a lot of slope going downhill and there is no way we can escape it, we think, because all we can see is just the slope, you know, just or uphill or going downhill. We think we did enough for today already and it's time to stop because the sun is setting and we think we have only half an hour of sun maybe and another half an hour of light left so it's always better to set up a tent at daylight of course just to be able to choose more or less the place better at least and see what you've got and then we're gonna do our usual routine just cook our dinner and yeah get ready to sleep not sure what more we're gonna film today but yeah that is it today was quite an easy day actually not difficult at all as we said we started late but we were able to do like 17 kilometers with we can say little effort so yeah nothing crazy nothing extreme which is nice we enjoyed the trail a lot uh, there were lots of autumn colors and the smells of autumn are very delicious we love it a lot just enjoying the autumn and tomorrow is gonna be another exciting day we're gonna go downhill to the Sardan Valley, come to our home, so to say. And yeah, we hope we're gonna feel more beautiful trails and paths on the way. So we're gonna search for the place now. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!